All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something slightly different, but in the same general genre. We're gonna be talking about detailing and cleaning our gas grill. Now, it's been a long grilling season here in Hawaii, and we've cooked many, many hamburgers. I've had to grill for about a year, and it's starting to get pretty dirty, pretty full of grease. All that stuff just falls down in there and starts collecting. And yesterday, when I had a little cookout, man, all that stuff started smoking. Started heading over towards a neighbor's house. I figured, you know what? It's time that I get this thing pearly clean. So the products we're gonna be using today are handy dandy detailing pressure washer setup. Man, this thing can be used all around the house for all kinds of stuff. We're gonna be using super clean degreaser and we're gonna use it in a, it's a one gallon garden sprayer of about a three to one dilution ratio. Uh, if it was super duper dirty, we could go higher all the way up to just straight super clean but I feel like I'm gonna start with three to one and see where we get with that. I'll first agitate uh, the super clean into the grill with a nice soft bristle brush. I like to take the least aggressive approach first, just kind of see where we stand. Then if we still need to cut through some more uh, grease and dirt and grime, we'll use the coarse bristle brush. This is an old one I've been using for a lot of years, but it works great. It'll agitate deeper into those little cracks and crevices and pull that grease off. In the event that that's not working, we're gonna to go to a brass bristle brush. Uh, this is a, a metal bristle, it's brass, and I'm gonna be gentle when I'm agitating with this, but this, if this won't get it off, I'm pretty sure nothing will. Once we get it fully cleaned up, we're gonna be using the stainless steel cleaner by Magic. This stuff works awesome. I use it in the house on the refrigerator, on the stainless steel grill, it puts a nice protective coating, makes it where fingerprints don't show up as easy, and makes it look brand new. And of course, we'll be putting it on with a microfiber towel. So with the pressure washer today, we're gonna to switch it up and we're gonna not use the 40 degree auto detailing nozzle. We're actually gonna put on the 20 degree nozzle and that's gonna give us a little bit more power behind the pressure washer and a little bit more action. All right, so without any more delay, let's get outside and get this thing going, yeah. So our grill is a Weber Genesis 2 stainless steel grill. Wow, is it dirty. I've owned the grill for about a year now and I've been barbecuing quite regularly. This is the first cleaning that I've actually done on it, and man, it needs it. I had a full-blown smoke fest the other day, and it just made it obvious it's time to get it cleaned up. I'm gonna use Super Clean at about a three to one ratio, pour it into a garden sprayer, spray it all over to try to break the grease and dirt down. We'll follow with the pressure washer and just blast that dirt right off. Now to the good stuff. The dreaded inside, where all those hamburgers, barbecue chicken, and everything else just made its way into the bottom of this grill. I'm gonna get to the bottom of things by removing all the grill internals. I'll use a scraper and scrape all the mess down into the center. Even in spite of the fact that I keep the grill pretty clean, this is what it's gonna look like if you use it a lot. And there we go, the dreaded pot of chili. Now it's a nice thick coat of super clean, all purpose cleaner to the rescue. After letting it dwell for a few minutes, we'll hit it with the pressure washer. And we'll try to get everything we can out with the pressure washer. It's just gonna make the next few steps a lot easier. We'll hit it again with all purpose cleaner with a brush. I like to use the least aggressive method first to kind of see how much trouble we're gonna have getting this stuff off. We'll step it up as needed. We'll hit it with the pressure washer again, trying to get every bit of that grime off we can. And it's becoming obvious that this is not aggressive enough. So we'll hit it with all-purpose cleaner again, this time with a coarse bristle brush. We're gonna scrub at it and scrub at it and see what happens here. So this coarse bristle brush is really cutting through that grease nicely. We'll keep adding all-purpose cleaner and scrubbing until we're happy. So there's still some grime on there, but we're not giving up yet. We'll hit it with some all-purpose cleaner. And this time we'll try a brass bristle brush, which is a little softer and we'll only use it on the areas that are stubborn. We don't want to destroy the finish on this grill. And now you can see that that is really starting to cut into that grease nicely. Repeat as needed until you get it to a cleanliness level that you're happy with. 
Obviously this isn't going to be perfect. This is a used grill with a lot of hours on it. But I gotta say I'm pretty happy with it. It's coming pretty clean. Besides a minor amount of discoloration, all the grime and grease is clean. We're going to move on to the upper part of the grill. So now it's time to address those nasty internals. We'll take the scraper and just get all the material we can off. So if it's been a while since you cleaned your grill, this part's gonna get super messy. I put paper down, it makes the cleanup a real breeze. All right, back to the old routine. Hit it with all-purpose cleaner, scrub it with the coarse bristle brush, reapply that APC as needed. Then we hit it with the pressure washer, get everything off we can. If you're enjoying the video, please subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss a future video. You can also leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Let's get that chili pot emptied out. <laughs> Actually, it's a grease catcher, but let's get started cleaning that up. Normal routine, APC cleaner. In this case, we'll just power wash to see if that gets the job done. This grease catcher does have a disposable liner, but hey, let's try to clean it up, see if we can reuse it. Yeah, that cleaned up easy. Let's go ahead and move on. Now we'll do a final rinse of the grill just to make sure we get everything off of it. Put all the internals back together. Man, I can already tell you it's looking great. Here's a cool tip. Clean that grill brush too. Add APC cleaner. Pressure wash it off. And there you go, like new, kind of. A real cool product, stainless steel cleaner by Magic. Man, this stuff works great. Spray it all over the grill, wipe it down, adds a layer of protection and brings that nice fingerprintless shine. All right, so that's all it took to get that grill nice and clean, super sanitary and ready for our next barbecue. Now we also have to remember, we wanna manage our expectations whenever we're detailing or cleaning. We're not gonna take a 10 year old grill and make it look brand new again, but I feel like overall, we got it back to looking pretty darn good. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification so you'll see the next video that we put out. Leave a comment down below, how do you clean your grill? What techniques work best for you? All right, other than that, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.